Welcome back to Terraria. So, we're still missing a lot of NPCs, and I still don't have a good place to build a house. So, I'm just going to start here. Shoot, this might be too tall. Ah, whatever. Um, let's see. I don't have platforms. I want platforms. Actually, I don't know if... NPCs count rooms made with platforms as different things or not. Anyway, we should have enough stuff that we should be able to get, well, two NPCs to move in. We're still missing a lot of requirements to get some of the more useful NPCs in here. But as far as the NPCs we can get, there is one NPC... Oh, I can't get that one. Uh, there's one NPC that moves in if you have bombs or any kind of explosive. I apparently ran out of bombs though and I didn't realize. As long as you have one bomb in your inventory, the uh, person in question can spawn. And another one is the merchant, who's pretty much the important one at the start. I need to stop leaving this door open. Actually, whatever. Let's start here. Basically, you can just make a hotel for your for the NPCs and just make simple rooms. You know, um, I think four blocks high is plenty. The NPCs are all three blocks tall, just like you. Actually, let's. Narrow this down a bit. So yeah. Let's see. The merchant moves in if you have 50 silver coins. That's the one we're probably... That's the only one we can currently get, actually. I believe. Then there's a nurse who moves in once you have more than 100 health. You have to find a certain item to improve your health. Um, it's a crystal heart, and it's buried underground, and it... I'm not sure there's any specific thing you can do to try and find more of them, but... Uh, I think they're just buried underground in general, and... They're pretty dang rare, except in certain areas they seem more common. For instance, in the dungeon of the world, I seem to see a lot of them. As well as... Get out of the damn doorway. The guide is the most annoying damn NPC in the world. Just have to say that. Um, let's make this a room. Alright, you need a thing above it too. There. Alright, so... For your basic room, all you need is about... I think you may only need three blocks high. Or three blocks of height. Height. And, uh... You need a background, you need... I think I went over this, you know, you need the table and the chair. The table and the chair are really important. Because NPCs like to sit, but they never do it on screen, because they're or something, I don't know. You definitely have to have the... What the background wall does, aside from look nice, is it allows... Um, it prevents monsters from spawning in your area, and it allows you to set a spawn. But I made a door that can't be used. I am brilliant. I'm really a visionary. Also, Weird, the door is open the way you're facing, so even though this door can only open this way, if I'm facing this way and you know, hey, I want to go in, I have to look, I have to open it backwards. So, that's, that's interesting. Would you, ugh. either I or the guide left the door open. The annoying thing about NPCs is they open doors, so, and sometimes they forget to close the door behind them because they're douchebags, so... 
they'll just leave the door open and let monsters in. And the monsters they let in can actually kill your NPCs, so it's kind of not cool. But uh, if your NPCs do die, don't really worry about it, because they just respawn fairly quickly. I think it takes like a, I would say a day or something. Just don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. They're just NPCs. They don't really have souls. I could say something offensive, but it would be offensive. I also can't think of anything that would be funny. That's the more important thing. Actually, I want to make... It's nicer to make your ceilings out of platforms, because you can just jump up and out and stuff. But I don't know if NPCs will actually treat this like a ceiling, like... If I replace this with platform, I'm not sure if they would still consider that a room. Um, I'm not going to risk it for now. And now I'm... Another thing the NPCs require is a door. It has to have a door to be considered a room. Or actually, it's, it's a house, basically. But houses can be inside of the same physical structure. It's sort of weird. But you can just think of it as a room. Oh, crap. A lot of stuff. So, oh right, silk. We can make a bed now, by the way. So, let's make a bed. I tend to make my room a bit bigger so I can have all of my crafting stuff together, and then I have a long corridor with all of my chests. Because I'm a big pack rat, and... This game's not quite as bad as Minecraft and the pack ratness, because... Uh, mostly because the stack size is larger and I don't know I don't find myself with as m many massive piles of stone and dirt but there are more unique items so those take up space really quick this was a terrible idea I should have done this in the daytime not sure why I'm showing you building the house anyway it's kind of boring would you stop killing me would you stop killing me what did I just say? What did I just say? Monsters never listen. Especially when they're giant eyeballs. They don't actually have ears, so... I would be surprised if they could hear anything, let alone my demands to stop murdering me. Also, the guide NPC. The one NPC that I wish I could kill. He doesn't die. Ever. The monsters will never kill him. Which, I'm not sure why that's necessary. Since uh, he'll just respawn. I guess... I don't know. He's the special NPC, so they just don't want to make him respawn. I don't know. I just wish he would, like, move out after a certain point, or... I, I don't know. He just gets really annoying once you know what you're doing, but it'd be hard for the game to tell. Right, I don't need to make those. I need to make these. Oh my god, hello. I have great spatial awareness. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Also a star. I need to I need to start collecting those. Also, second story door. Mr. Eyeball, you're not you're not welcome here. I'm sorry. I'm racist against against giant eyeballs. It's it's the way I was raised. Lived in a bad home. Um, platform goes here. Would you Please die. The already showed you the item you can make with two lenses. Okay, we're not we're not screwing around out here. Wait. Yes! Haha. -ha. Something I should do sometime soon. Um gonna die. Is just kill um not kill. Damn it! Ugh. Is just run around outside at night sometime and I need Okay, I'm locking them out. You have overstayed your welcome, kind sirs. Yeah, I need to just wander around and get a bunch of stars. Once you get ten stars, you can craft craft them into an item that gives you mana. You can have up to two hundred mana, I think. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, tables and chairs. Tables and chairs only in Kenya. Um, there. 
Also, you can make signs in this game, but the one unfortunate thing is, um, relative to Minecraft, is that the signs are really hard to read. You have to really try and, like, you have to right-click on them. Which isn't that hard, but, you know, you can't just passively look at it and see, oh, this sign says X. Because in Minecraft, I like to... Oh. I'm going to get to you. That should do it. There. Alright, let's... Let's finish one thing at a time. Back walls, that's what I needed. Back walls. This is why, in my real account, I have just piles and piles of building materials that... I forget I have, and then I craft more stuff, and then my chests are constantly full because I have so much crap, but whatever. I'll make like 50 wooden walls, and then I'll be like, oh, I need some wooden walls. I'll go make what, 250 of them, and then after I'm done building something, I'll go back and realize, oh shit, I already had a ton of those. Alright, so we're all lit up. Just make a nice table and a chair. So basically the bare minimum of a room could be about this size, like a wall right here with a table with a chair or a door, a door, and then just give enough room so that you can swing a door both ways, table, chair, light, background, that's all you need. Good times, good times. Wood. Door, wood, door. And we're going to see if this... We're just going to leave that ugly secondary ceiling. Wait. Right. It's supposed to be that high. We're going to leave the ugly secondary ceiling for now because I don't feel like doing anything about it. Even though it is very ugly and it's bugging me since I thought about it. And now a chair. Wait, can I still open that door? Yes, I can. I can open it this way. The way the positioning thing works is just so odd. Anyway. This is a very ugly house. I hope you appreciate it. Also, hammer. Need a better hammer. It's not really very important right now, but uh, it's all about convenience. Let's place a chair. Good idea. Let's open the. There you go. I just like to make sure I have enough space for the doors to open both ways. Giggity. And, uh. Just for convenience, because. Also, because the NPCs tend to open the doors a lot. I don't know what happens if the NPC re finds a door and they're, like, trapped or something. But I don't really care because they're NPCs and they're dumb faces. I'm very anti-dumb face. Alrighty. So that is my crappy ass hotel. And it's daytime! I was just about to go outside and die because... Ah good, you can fulfill my death wish. Actually, let's put that on the first floor. So let's put this on the first floor. It's a lot easier to move around if you're using... Kill me. KILL ME! You stupid... There you go. It's a lot easier to move around if you use those platforms, so... Instead of the solid wood ceilings. I'm just really not sure if this counts as a room because of the... Soft floor there. But whatever. Off to adventure! Also, my inventory is fairly full. Let's, let's, ugh. I hate to do all the mundane stuff on camera, but I do pretty much everything on camera for this playthrough. Well, crap. My chest is, like, full of stuff. My chests are always full of stuff, though. I think we already went over this. Yeah. Oh, right. I need to place my anvil back. 
Arg. This is the stuff I'm picky and stuff about and I should not do on camera. Okay, minimum distance, or yes. Okay, we can just fit that stuff in. Alright, now what the hell was I gonna build? Chests, right. Chests, you need a little bit of iron, so... My first iron always goes into chests because... Otherwise I'll run out of space so fast. Also, if you want to stack up chests, you just need a wood platform to stick them on. Shoot. I don't have enough space to actually do that in this house. Break. Ugh, they're so these tools are so slow. Oh well. This looks kind of stupid, but it works. That's the best kind of working. Why did I get mud? Oh well. By the way, do not drop your stars. I did that once. Um, if you drop stars during daytime, they explode. Not like in a way that can hurt you, but they disappear forever. I dropped like 10 stars once, back when 10 stars really mattered. You need either 100 or... Yeah, you need 100 stars to get max mana, so you want to keep your first 100 stars. After that, you can use them for mana restoration potions. They still have use, so if you see a falling star, always catch it. Unless you see one in real life, because that would kill you. Because falling stars are, you know... Meteorites, or comets, or, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that you could not catch. Even if you had a catcher's mitt, it would really not help against that, you know, 100 ton slab of molten rock. Unless you have, like, some sort of special catcher's mitt. The merchant has arrived. See, that's what I was waiting for. And I don't think I was going this way. The merchant sells some useful stuff. This is a dead end. Hooray. Um, one of the more important things the merchant sells is uh, he sells lesser healing potions. And I honestly can't freak I can't remember what else he sells that is useful. So that's unfortunate. He sells shurikens, which are nice, cheap ranged weapons. I just don't use them much at all. I don't use any of the ranged weapons much. Even though some of them are pretty good, they tend to fall under the you have to click repeatedly to use this category, so I don't use them. How did I get down here before if that passage was blocked? Also, it's a dead end. Hurrah! Love dead ends. They remind me of deaths and ends. Well, this cave sucks. I'm sorry I came down here. Hmm. I knew one of these caves was a dead end. I could not remember which. There's an urn in there. Or a vase. I suppose it's the same thing, kind of. But I don't care enough to get it. I just went out of this stupid cave. Sometimes your starting caves will have lots of ore or chests and stuff like that. Sometimes they won't. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a chest more like, or a cave more like the ones in the first world I had. The first cave I went into had two crystal hearts, and the next one was a huge pit with no, well, very few dead ends that went all the way down to the underworld. And had tons of chests, and it was great times. This cave... Well, this cave just sucks, and I hate it. In fact, I'm going to block this cave off, because I hate it so much. So, yeah. This cave is officially condemned. Um, goddammit. I'm condemning you to hell. Stupid slimes. So, yeah, this cave... This cave never happened. This cave does not exist. We were never here. 
also sunflowers you can I forget how you harvest them oh you just break the gla the grass beneath them I guess yeah and you can place them I don't think you can use them for anything so I should probably stop collecting them but I'll just toss them yeah so you don't um, I guess you can use them for just for decoration, but other than that, they don't have any practical use. And you can only place them on dirt, so you, know, you can't use them to decorate your home unless your home is made with grass. Also, wasn't there wasn't there a cave over here? I thought there was another cave much closer to home, but I guess not. Here we go. You better be a cave. You better be awesome, cave. I'm giving you one chance to be awesome. I hate you, cave. I hate you so hard. It's Minecraft all over again with the stupid caves that are like eight inches deep. Let's just block this off. It's a good strategy to block off you know, useless caves if you know they're dead ends or whatever. Or some ways that you know that they're there so you just don't go in them. In my original world it was really easy because after a bit there was just the one cave that I needed to go into. <laughs> You're kidding. Whatever. There was just the one cave because it was so huge and it had so many branches out everywhere so I never needed to explore too much else so it looks like I've been here before I didn't place torches very thoroughly but I generally don't oh yeah I remember this one this was an okay cave wasn't it I think there's a little bit of copper actually right I don't need to bother with copper well this is a what hurt me what? What hurt me? Oh, falling damage. Is that enough for- ow! Falling damage? Really? Whatever. I'm sorry, this has been a very useless episode, hasn't it? Well, now that we're here- and see the cave music kicked in. Now that we're here, something should hopefully be- whoa. Stupid. So those giant earthworms. They're really just annoying because they're hard to kill, though. No. Oh, two of them! Come on, come on! Gonna be a tough guy? Come here! Oh, whatever. Oh, stop chasing me when I don't have a weapon out! Oh my god, oh my god! Right! This- Oh crap, I hate this cave so much! No! Switched! That was not what I wanted to click. I hate the number keys, by the way. Um, because I have to, you know, I have to hold my hand out here and press, grope for the buttons. For anything, the first four keys I can easily access because of the way I hold my keys, the, uh, WADS keys, but anything else, just groping randomly for the other number keys and hoping I get it right. And I didn't. And I just wasted a potion. Whatever. I would go the other way, but there's no caves over there. So that's great. That's just great. Well, I'm going to find that cave again, and we're going to call this the worst episode ever. Oh, hey, that sunflower's still there. You're still useless, and I hate you.